All right, guys, what's going on? In this video, I am going to show you how to land quality reviews. And so this is much different from all the other videos on my channel. I'm usually speaking about some lead gen strategy, but today I'm gonna to show you how you can make your lead gen strategies way more effective by actually getting reviews, getting video testimonials, customer success stories, and building a system around it to consistently get them. Not just get one here and there, but to consistently keep getting them, right? And so my name is Nick Abraham. I'm the founder at Leadbird. And if you go to leadbird.io, you'll see that we have, I think about 25 video testimonials. We have a case study page with I think about 20 to 25 case studies broken down in depth. If you go to our G2, we have a 4.9 star out of five, and we're only gonna keep adding to this. This is currently August, 2023. I bet you I'll look at this in two years and have over a hundred video testimonials because of the system that I built. And I'm excited to share the behind the scenes action on this. So the first thing is very obvious. You have to deliver great results and a spectacular service to land quality reviews. If you can't do that, it makes no sense to reach out to a client to ask for a review, right? So deliver great results and a spectacular service. But getting good results is subjective to the person, right? Like what you see as good results may be different from what your client sees as good results. So you wanna be able to capture what is good results in their eyes. So on our onboarding form, we literally ask our clients, what in your opinion would make this relationship be successful? And they'll tell us, hey, you know, I want to see 15, 20 leads per month. Maybe I want to see 100 leads per month. Maybe I want to see five leads per month. And there's so much that you can do with that. And whoever's running the onboarding calls for us, it's our CSMs, that they can do with that. If I saw, for example, a client said, I need 150 leads per month, I'm going to make sure our CSMs come in with the proper expectations of like, hey, on the current plan that you're at, and since you're not really generating any leads yourself, getting to 150 in the first month is not realistic. Like it's going to take us a very long time to get there to get it consistently down. And we're going to need a lot more email volume. I'm just wanting to give you a heads up. And so you're able to use this data to really build the customer journey and the customer like relationship much better. Right. And the big thing too, is now that you've quantified it, you need to build a system to where you track it. And once you hit that result, you're able to, you know, automatically reach out to a client and be like, Hey, on that onboarding form, you said that 15 leads was successful. Guess what? We just generated you 16 leads. I'd love to capture the success with you and hop on a quick interview, blah, 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 right and so now you build a system of when to actually go about it another thing to kind of keep in mind is like when a client is on a win right so let's say a client is ecstatic you just got booked him a meeting with ibm or apple or wherever it's from and, and they're showing in the email that or like whatever you're using for conversation with your clients and they're like i'm so excited we're about to close this deal this is huge great start and they're praising you this is when they're on a high and you want to leverage their high to get reviews this is the best time to do it and want to make sure you're not afraid to ask for it. And a lot of times team members that you hire, they will be scared to ask for it. And sometimes they just won't see the importance of asking for it. So you want to make sure your team is incentivized to constantly be feeding and trying to get reviews and testimonials out of the clients. And the best way to do that is to pay them more, to give them bonuses for every review and every interview that they're able to get. And so that's something that we built into our system. Now let's talk about some of the very specific systems and automations that we built to force our team to collect reviews. So we use Airtable to store all of our clients' data, and then we build triggers off of that. And so we basically built a view inside of Airtable when a client hits, let's say, 15 leads that, you know, the trigger will go off and it will automatically draft an email inside of the CSM's inbox asking the client, hey, congratulations, we just hit 15 leads. I'd love to capture your wins on a quick customer success interview, speak about how our relationship has been, if you're comfortable with that and if you're okay with that. And hey, for your time, I'd love to give you a lead free or maybe discount your next monthly bill or whatever to get them on the call. And that's how you're able to to build a system to constantly collect reviews. If you're drafting, I wouldn't automate the email, by the way, because sometimes automations fail, specifically with client communication, wouldn't recommend. But what you can do is just draft it and then have your CSMs look at their drafts every morning to identify, okay, hey, I should be sending this because we did hit 15 leads. Let me click send and kind of running it that way. That's what I would, I mean, that's what we built out pretty successful. I would build it out yourself. The other thing too is to create feedback loops. And this is good for reviews and it's also good to keep a pulse on client relationships, right? And so after our onboarding calls, after our check-in calls, we've set it up up in Calendly to make sure that they will get a follow-up email after the call, asking them to fill out a feedback form. And this is super, super, super important, right? Because it's a two-second form, just asking them how the call went. If it went good, cool, end screen. If they say it went bad and they say they put like a one-star out of five-star on the call, like on the, the form, it's going to ask them what went wrong. And then guess what? I get notified when that happens. And then I'm able to proactively reach out to the customer and say, hey, you know, I'm so sorry that, you know, we didn't hit your expectations on this call. Like, tell me more about what, you're, what you know, what, what's happening. And then you can go in and proactively fix the situation before it progressively gets worse. And this is how you mitigate churn. And it's also a great way to identify when clients are once again on a win. If they're posting, hey, you know, that call was amazing. 
great strategy ahead. I'm super excited for this. Like now we know, hey, maybe we should reach out to this customer to go do whatever, whatever. And so you want to create feedback loops. And so we create or we have automation set up to send clients feedback forms after their calls with their team. And the other thing too here is let's say after a check-in call, they say the call is a five out of five star. You could route them to ask them, hey, would you mind leaving a review for us to help grow our business? You know, if they gave you a five out of five star, they're probably more inclined to give you a review and then they click OK and then you can route them to your G2 page to go ahead and start filling that out. And, you know, if it's a one out of five star, then, you know, obviously not to ask for the review, like I said before. Right. And so it's just building feedback loops to push them to the right places and being able to proactively mitigate churn. And then the last thing that you want to do, and this is something that I see a lot of people mess up on is market your review. That is like a sword. It's a weapon if you use it correctly. So as soon as we finish uploading our customer success interview on Vimeo and uploading it into our CMS, so it's posted on our website, actually, it doesn't get to that point. But once we just upload it into Vimeo, our CSMs will literally fill out a form. And what happens is we have an automation where it takes that Vimeo link and some of these other inputs that we have on this form. It'll upload it to our website CMS to put it on our front page as well as our case study page. And it'll even make a company update on LinkedIn to post on our LinkedIn company page. And so now we're marketing the reviews. And so now think about a prospect that's looking at us for the first time. They might type in leadbird.io. Oh, sweet. See the video interview. Cool. That's amazing. Let me go look up at the LinkedIn company page, see you know what their founder's about. Oh, sweet. Now they see it on my LinkedIn profile about section. Let me click on the company page, see what it's about. Oh, sweet. Another review. You're literally just framing them, right? Like you're literally getting them in the mentality of like, oh, these guys crush it. And then it's like on your follow-up calls, let's say like you have your first initial call, you know, you could put it in VSL, you can hit it. Like there's just so many ways you could leverage your video testimonials as sales assets to, you know, increase your sales conversion rate, decrease your sales cycle, and just make everything so much smoother. And so these are some of the basic core fundamental systems that we have to land quality reviews. So if this was useful to you, do me a favor, go ahead and subscribe to Nick Abraham 12 on YouTube. Drop me a like, drop me a comment, follow me on Twitter, Nick Abraham 12. Find me on LinkedIn, Nick Abraham 12, I think. I'm not exactly sure. But my goal here is to deliver a ton of content on how to grow your business, just like how we're growing it. Like I said before, we went from 30 clients at the beginning of this year. I don't think we're at 30. I think we're at like 20 clients beginning of this year to having a hundred plus client with a super lean team or profitable. We've grown multiple companies in our SaaS portfolio and everything of that such. And that's what I'm documenting on this channel. So do me a favor, subscribe, sit back for this journey.